Well, the problem with Arch, the one thing I like about DNF, which mm -hmm. you can't do an Arch, is uh, Pac-Man doesn't let you actually look at what actually changed. So you kind of have to decrypt a little bit of what happens. So like there yep. is a Python script called Arch Audit, mm -hmm. which does actually cross compare the update versus in your system versus what is in Arch's security advisories, which mm -hmm. they actually pull from other uh, like security advisories from Canonical and SUSE and Red Hat yep. and Google. Um, so you can't actually use that, but then it's also not helpful of like, well, what if you need a bug fix that you're waiting on for a while? Like if you're mm -hmm. like in the situation where I am, let's say I could actually update SDDM won't let me log out oh. because NVIDIA, I don't know if it's an NVIDIA thing, but uh -huh. it is a true of both X11 and Wayland 5.26.5 of KDE SD, SDDM will not let you log out. You'll just get a black screen. So the only way to get out of it is to hard reset your computer. <laughs> You can't even get into a TTY, and I'm not uh, sure what it is. But it's funny because this wouldn't be a criticism if Fedora didn't freeze like their desktops. Yeah, that's <clears throat> and you know I I know why they do it because they want to have like some illusion of a model. But it's mm. like when something's as broken as this, I mean, come on, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you you gotta fix it. That's like saying like if G imagine if GDM didn't let people log out, mm. like people would be losing their minds. But like when SDDM doesn't let you log out, no one cares. Nope. Because, or at the least Fedora's people don't care because they're more focused on the work on workstation, not the other spins. Yep, the spins yep. are purely community stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's hard. It's hard, man.